those persons alone meet him whom the lord himself had united in primal time by true holy utterances and the word they are embellished slave nanak ever sings the praise of the true lord and by singing his praise he has merged in the virtuous lord maru third guru he the one lord is ever immutable and true he is realized through the perfect guru those who are drenched in the god's elixir ever meditate on him and by guru's teaching they obtain the coat of arm of humility within their mind they ever love the true lord through the guru's word god's name seems sweet unto them they within whose mind the name embodiment of nine treasures abides forgo gains of mammon both the subjects and the kings are involved in foul thinking and duality without serving the true guru they do not become one with him they who meditate on the one lord ever obtain peace and eternal becomes their rule from birth and death none can save the mortal these occur by his ordinance by the guru's guidance ever meditate on the true lord exaltation and emancipation thou shall obtain from him alone truth and restraint are found at the true guru's door by the holy word are annulled ego and wrath by serving the true guru eternal joy is achieved humility and contentment are all in doing his service egoism and attachment arise in the world by forgetting the name the entire world dies without serving the true guru the name is not attained the lord's name is the true gain in the world true is the lord's will which becomes pleasing through the guru's word being blessed with the guru's word the melody of the five sounds resound within the man through the true name one's deeds are ever embellished without guidance of the holy word what are one's deed worth in an instant man laughs and in an instant he bewails on account of duality and evil thinking one's affairs are not done union and separation are writ by the creator the deeds destined can in no way be changed by practicing guru's word one is emancipated in life and ever remains absorbed in lord by the guru's grace man is blessed with exaltation and is not afflicted with the malady of egoism by eating various sorts of dainties the mortal fattens his body and wears ritual garbs but acts not on the guru's word within him is grievous malady and pain with which he greatly suffers and in the end sinks in into ordure those studying vedas reading them enter into controversies within their heart is the lord which they do not realize by the word he who becomes guru ward turns the essence and his tongue relishes the lord's elixir they who leave the blessed thing in their home and wander outside they the blind egocentric taste not the god's relish imbued with another savior their tongue utter insipid words and it does not ever taste god's nectar doubtful is the body of an egocentric spouse he dies of evil thinking and is ever in ignominy he attaches his mind to lust wrath and duality and does not attain peace even in a dream the body of the guru ward is like gold and god's holy word is his spouse he ever enjoys blessed love with the god in his body mansion he finds the mansionless lord and realizing his will merges in him the beneficent lord himself gives gifts as against him no one has any power himself the lord forgives and by the holy word unites with himself unfathomable is the power of his word the life and body all belong to him the true lord is my master nanak says through the guru word i have attained the lord and by contemplation of the lord i have merged in him maru third guru for the god conscious being the lord's meditation is the mystic music and vedas to the god conscious comes unlimited illumination and meditation the guru ward does the deeds which are pleasing to the lord and the guru ward obtains the perfect lord the guru ward's mind turns away from mammon and is restrained 
the guru word's utterances turns into mystic melody the guru word is imbued with the truth remains detached and abides in his own home the guru's teaching i uttered as an ambrosial instruction through the holy true word i utter the lord's truth my mind ever remains dyed in the love of the true lord and i am absorbed in the truest of the truth the mind of the guru ward who bathes in the true tank is pure no filth attaches to him and he merges in the true one he practices the whole truth and ever the true devotion he keeps confirmed in his mind the guru ward speech is of truth and his eyes have truth in them the guru ward does the true deeds day and night he ever tells the truth and also makes others utter the truth the guru ward's utterances is true and sublime the guru ward utters nothing but truth the guru ward ever serves the truest of the true and he preaches the lord's holy word he who becomes guru ward obtains understanding and rids himself of ego mammon and doubt by the guru's sublime stairs he goes high up and sings the lord's praise at the true portal the guru ward practices true self discipline and does sublime deeds the guru ward attains the door of salvation by the loving devotion he ever remains imbued with the bliss and stilling self conceit he merges in the lord the guru ward searches his mind and utters what he sees there he ever enshrines love for the true name he does only that which pleases him and true lord's mind approves when he so wills he makes the man meet the true guru when it pleases him then he enshrines his name in man's mind by his player the lord ever remains imbued in joy and by his player he enshrines it in the devotee's mind he who does deeds through his mind's stubbornness is ruined by putting on many ritual garbs the lord is not pleased died in poison the mortal earns pain and is absorbed in deep pain he who becomes guru ward earns peace he comes to know the mystery of birth and death he who deems death and birth alike he alone is pleasing to my lord the guru ward who remains dead in life he becomes acceptable he knows that coming and going is in the god's will he does not die nor takes birth nor he suffers any pain and his mind spirit merges in the supreme spirit very fortunate are those who have attained the true guru and have banished egoism and attachment from within them pure is their mind and no filth attaches to it again and they obtain glory at the true portal the lord himself does and himself causes others to do himself he establishes and disestablishes and watches all the service of the guru ward is pleasing to my lord he who hears the true name is approved by him the guru ward practices solely the truth the guru ward is pure no filth attaches to him nanak says they who contemplate the name are imbued therein it is through the name that they are absorbed in the name maru third guru by his will the lord himself created all the worlds he himself establishes disestablishes and glorifies the true one himself dispenses full justice the true lord unites with himself the body has form of the fortress in it is spread the expanse of the love of the mammon without the holy word the body is a heap of ashes and ultimately dust mingles with dust the body is invaluable fortress of gold wherein is pervading limitless holy name the guru ward ever sings the true lord's merits and meeting his love obtains peace the body is the lord's mansion god himself beautifies it within it abides a venerable lord the enemy of ego the merchants of god do commerce in the guru's word and by his glance of grace he unites them with himself he alone is pure who banishes wrath realizes the name and reforms himself the creator lord himself does and makes others to do and he himself comes in the mind immaculate and unique is the lord's devotional service by contemplation of the name the mind and body are washed he who night and day is ever imbued with the lord's name him the lord in his grace to devotional service engages in this temple of the mind the mind wanders about abandoning god's peace like straw it suffers great pain without meeting the true guru 
it finds no shelter the lord himself has set a foot display the lord is infinite by himself he contemplates himself he himself provides the occasion to do sublime deeds what service can the poor creature do granting pardon the lord unites man with himself the perfect lord himself unites one with the true guru and through the power of the holy true word he makes him a powerful warrior himself granting union conferring exaltation attaches the man's mind with the true guru within our very home is he the true lord rare is the one who by guru's guidance realizes this he within whose heart the name truer abides utter the name with his tongue man wanders through the foreign lands but searches not his inner self involved in worldly valuables he is bound down by yama yama's noose does not ever snap and through duality he wanders into the existences there can be no true worship penance and self restraint so long as one acts not on the guru's word by attaining the guru's word one obtains truth and through truth he merges into the true lord very powerful are lust and wrath in this world the performance of many ritual acts is the expansion of suffering they who serve the true guru obtain peace and the true guru unites them with the true lord air water and fire make the body the mammon's attachment pervades all the bodies when men know him who created them they get purged from the love of mammon some are afflicted with mammon's attachment and pride through ego they deem themselves to be everything they are not aware of the death scourier and in the end depart regretting he alone knows the right way of living who has created the beings by the guru's guidance give realization of the holy word slave nanak makes a supplication and attaches his mind to the lord's true name maru third guru from the very beginning and start of the ages the lord is the compassionate bestower he is realized through the perfect guru's word they who serve thee merge in thee thou o lord thyself unitest them in thine union my inaccessible and unknowable lord thy worth cannot be known all the creatures are under thy shelter as it pleases thee does thou guide them and puttest them on the right path true lord is and he shall also be he himself creates there is no other the peace bestower lord takes care of all and himself provides them sustenance o inaccessible unknowable unseeable and limitless no one knows thine limit thine own self thou thyself realized by the guru's teaching thou revealest thyself the underworlds the universes the countries and the forms over and within them works thine all powerful command by his command he creates by his command he destroys and by his command he unites in his union whoever realizes thy order praises thy order o inaccessible unknowable and desire free lord as is the understanding thou givest so do i become thou thyself through the word givest realization by night and day the age is declining both night and day are witnesses to this 